Welcome to Subramani. The topic today is uh, women and money. And uh, <clears throat> nothing bothers me more than a woman who wants to remain ignorant about money. I'm not saying being uh, ignorant about money is uh, bad. It's not. It's a place to start with. Maybe your uh, family where you were brought up, your parents did not teach you anything about money. You learned nothing about money during your school and formative years. But after getting married, there is absolutely no reason to continue that, especially if you are a non-finance person. I, assuming that the husband is a a uh, finance person the finance background and the woman is a uh, engineer or a doctor or you know some other professional non finance professional there's all the more reason to say oh my husband does all the all the money managing so it's very easy for a woman to say my father mother brother uh, or uh, boyfriend husband or somebody looks after the money whenever i want money they give it to me that's okay my mother my mother talks that language but she's 82 so for my mother talking that language is very different from a younger girl talking that because my mother today does not have to worry about financial abuse or uh, Uh, things like that or not pursuing a career all that's over past whether she should have worried at 22 is different but nothing went wrong in her life financially speaking so it's over and done with but if you are in your 30s 40s <clears throat> or uh, even in your 50s and you don't have a very trustworthy relationship my mother went through a very trustworthy relationship so for her it was okay i still have aunts uh, who are uh, who don't uh, try to understand much but it does not mean everybody should be like that i have one aunt who understands all her mutual funds her investments dairy equity investments she does trade she does talk about it right so uh, because let's understand at some stage a woman is likely to be single some women don't get married at all which means all the more reason why they should understand money because they have they have nobody they can't turn around turn to anybody for managing their money they have to do there are women who will get divorced they have to then at that stage manage maybe the, the there is no financial abuse in that relationship but whatever reason there has been a divorce so again she is alone and she will have to manage her money a woman is likely to be uh, widowed because a woman is likely to live for 7 8 years uh 10 years maybe after their spouses just just mathematics here and uh, with all this there's a greater reason now suppose you don't have children and your husband dies when you are both 50 years of age and your husband dies you could live another 40 years where you have to manage your money how will you not manage your money i can't understand so women please don't abdicate responsibility i'm not i'm here talking of nice men who are not abusive uh, if they are abusive then it's much worse right so don't get into this that uh, and there are women who earn much better than their husbands then out of the guilt that they are earning more they like to give hand over the money to their husbands and let their husbands manage it this is the worst thing that you can do this is the britney spears kind of a thing where she earns money and her father controls it i think it's horrible and it's happening in us which there is with the which is got democracy i don't know how would it be in india i'm sure there are many women who are very successful who earn well but it is the whole money is controlled by the father or by the husband or some uh, possessive boyfriend why would you allow that please learn about money and i think it starts with laziness it's like men who say i can't even make tea it's laziness <clears throat> men who say i can't even make dal chawal it is laziness or women who say i can't understand banking and all it is laziness it is not some rocket science if you are smart enough to do your mba if you are smart enough to do your mbbs if you are smart enough to run a family have two children put them through school and college you are smart enough to handle simple stupid things like personal finance you actually don't need to understand too much about personal finance especially if your husband is looking after it that's great but at least know where it is going why is it going into equities what is the retirement plan what will you do if your husband drops dead do you have adequate insurance where are the insurance papers kept Who, what is the name of the agent 
why are you dealing with him why is his phone number right what is your husband's uh, login id password right because when if he is in if he is having a heart attack you have to uh, admit him in hospital you have to have access to all the uh, monies of his uh, credit card so you need the credit card i mean of course the credit card pin will be available but there is a four digit code which may be necessary you uh, you may need to know the password of his uh, phone because the otp will come on his phone not on your phone basics doesn't it sound like very very basic so why don't you have common passwords for for have one bank account or have a credit card which uh, she knows how to operate making sure women cannot abdicate responsibility completely and these are i am talking of very nice men being married to women who uh, like to remain ignorant now what happens if it's an abusive relationship where the man is doing all this deliberately to keep you away from the money right so when in you go into a class especially the younger classes maybe you know class 11 or uh, and you say there is going to be a stock exchange uh, game uh, some communities women come but normally the ratio there would be there be many more boys coming and very few women coming why the why do girls take this view that they need not know because there will always be somebody to look after why would that guy be wanting to looking uh, look after your money i this country has seen so many successful women right i'm talking in financial services you have seen chanda kochar you have seen shika sharma you have seen uh, uh, radhika gupta you have seen monica halan uma sashikant maybe i should have said uma first right all these women have been successful and i'm sure that uh, many of them are if they are capable of running their own businesses their own companies uh can they handle simple personal finance at home i'm sure they can right and i'm sure they are uh, doing it themselves of course if you are married to a financial professional there's a good chance that both of you will discuss but if you are not a married a financial professional i'm sure these women suppose uh, chanda kochar was married to a successful doctor i'm sure she would be handling the personal finance in this case <clears throat> if the husband is also a finance professional maybe they are under, uh, handle it together but the reverse of a successful doctor uh, letting his wife manage the money may not be so common right so if a woman is a successful uh, doctor chances are the and the husband is a chartered accountant good chance that the husband is managing the money and the wife has no clue what is happening the river if the if she is professionally qualified as a chartered accountant and he is also a chartered accountant chances are that they at least know but women <clears throat> who are not uh, finance professionals i want to see do them handling their own money right it's not rocket science any of these women will tell you this is not rocket science if you can run a family among all the things that a monica halan or a uma sashigan do handling personal finance is not their toughest job that they do they are doing far tougher things they are in the markets they are writing they are talking to people they are looking for business they are raising their children right those things are far far more complicated and difficult so why would other women not copy and at least look after their personal finances at least know where it is going i'm not saying you need to understand how a equity fund manager picks stocks no that's not nobody needs to know men women more they don't need to know but know that 60% of your money is in large cap some of it is in mid cap some of it is in small cap in case of an emergency and you needing money you have to have an emergency fund if you have exhausted the emergency fund then go to a fund which is uh, which has got a lesser standard deviation or if you have some insurance policies maybe you can surrender them maybe you can borrow these are basics and there is no reason why women should not know if your money manager uh, but uh, the thing is i do not know how many money managers handle their wives uh, handle their portfolio i would be very happy if the wives uh, to cover and run the portfolio with the husband just uh, supervising and saying okay you did this right making the uh, monthly uh, payments right if the husband's account is being used for making the utility payments that's fine that is how if he's the primary provider he should be doing it but 
every month the wife should be making the payment from his account she should go she should know how to put the otp what is done now in my case it's completely automated it gets debited to my credit card on the due date so i really don't know when the bill comes and when the bill goes of course i get an sms to that extent <coughs> so women should at least be able to answer some of these questions like why have they invested in so many funds what is the term insurance what is the critical illness policy that they have taken and uh, how is the retirement plan going to pan out when will the pension start could you take uh, i mean typically if the husband were to drop dead can she take over the family uh, reins and run it especially when the kids are small by the time the kids are 18 20 the kids also have their own uh, lives they have their own phones they have their own they know how to crack a phone they they know all that then maybe involve the kids so that the children are able to help you but in the case where there are husband and wife there no ch- children then the woman should know everything that the husband does you need to share it you need to make a will or whatever you have to do the documentation the finances where it is gone and uh, if you don't if you can't reply to questions like i don't know where is my retirement money where it is gone which fund why that fund if you can't answer that please understand that you at least should know how it goes how it will come back how long is the lock in women cannot I mean why women even men if the husband, if the wife is handling it doesn't mean the man does not uh, need to know where it is going because men can also be abused financially right so i think a lot of the blame of uh, this women not handling their money goes to the uh, mutual fund industry because the mutual fund industry never made an attempt to address women or they'll come out with some pink looking form and say this is a women's uh, scheme that's very very stupid and uh, Uh, superficial there has to be a uh, encouragement for women to take up money management in the sense that ma- i wouldn't even call it money management i would call it money administration knowing how it gets invested what is either or survivor why the redemption will go only into the husband's account if the husband's account is named as the first is the first applicant how to withdraw money from that account if the husband is not there how will yeah, how to change the password i mean the otp will come to his phone and on his phone if she does not have the password to open the phone what is she going to do with the password right so some of these things she should know and she should take the trouble to know you can't abdicate and after 20 30 years come and say that oh i was abused financially i didn't know about it there are clear signals for you if you can't answer where your retirement money is going why you don't have a uh, co-signing why your accounts are not joined right if you if you're suffering from these things it means you're being abused be careful thank you